Hey everyone, how's it going? This is my lesson on how to create chords from a diatonic scale, uh, specifically a major scale. Um, I'm going to show you or demo it in, for each of the strings, like one form, and then show you also how to stack fourths, which is really cool, and then a little bit about how you can integrate into a plane, but mostly just um, exercise. So the first one we're going to do is on the uh, fifth string and also before I begin there's a, um, a lesson I guess if you go um, down there'll be like the link right there and you can go check it out and it will have like a written form and tablature and stuff okay so the first one is on the on the fifth string and I'm going to use my metronome I recommend you practice with your metronome it'll help your time and also help you solidify the chords. Okay, so, so we're on the fifth string. Um, yeah, there we go. That's that's a B, B flat major scale. Three, four. The C minor seventh. D minor. E flat major seventh, F dominant, G minor seventh, A F diminished, E flat major seventh. Okay, now we're going to go up to the fourth string. When you think about it, it's actually the same chord, but. Sounds a little different with the strings, but there's that third in there, which the G uh, B, which causes the form to change. One, two, three, four. E flat major seventh, F minor seventh, G minor seventh, A flat major seventh, um, B flat dominant. I have to do that again. One, two, three, four. Five major seventh, F minor seventh, G minor seventh, A five major seventh, B five minor dominant, uh, C minor seventh, G half diminished, B five major seventh. Okay, cool. Okay, now we go to the fifth string, sixth string, sorry. This is actually the, almost the same chord form. It's the same thing. You go down, it would have been this. But it's kind of muddy, so we, we bring this uh, note up an octave. Two, th I'm going to use my fingers. Three, four, F major seven. This is a little tough. E F diminished. F major seventh. And also, if if you tuned up um, and your guitar's not quite in tune with mine. It's because of intonation issues, uh, my strings are a little old, and guitars just have intonation issues. Once you start, uh, uh, you know, playing a little more, once you start moving around the neck. Okay, and this is the same thing, but uh, instead of the root being on the sixth string, it's going to be on the first string, it's still F. Two, three, four. Half diminished. 
step minor, major seven. to the second string, the root's going to be on the second string. Play it like that. Um, yeah. It's kind of cool, the root's in the middle as opposed to the top or the bottom. Three, C major seventh, C major seventh, D minor seventh, E, oops, I'm going to start again. It's tough talking and doing it for me. Three, four. C major seventh, D minor seventh, D minor seventh, F major seventh, G dominant, A minor seventh, B half diminished, and C major seventh. string left, the third string, uh, you're going to play in B flat major, so it's like this one, right? Not quite, but it has some similarities, like here's the C minor 7th, right? The last one, this is going to be the C minor 7th, this one, you can kind of see how they're related, I hope, um, just because I hope my video is at the right angle. Okay, three, four, B major seventh, C minor seventh, G uh, minor seventh, E five major seventh, F with a, a G minor seventh. Uh, sorry, I kind of lost track of the names there. B five major seventh, A half diminished, G minor seventh, um, F dominant. Seventh, C minor seventh, and then B flat major seventh. Okay, cool. That's all the strings, right? So just practice that. You can practice along with what I was playing. Uh, sorry I didn't demo it quite as well as I liked, but I uh, hope it helps. Uh, here we go. Um, oh yeah, so the stack force, right? So it's still going to be in the scale. So we're going to start on the fifth string, so it's going to be the first fret, first string is going to be B flat, so we're going to do everything in B flat major. So the first chord is going to be B flat, uh, E flat, A, B. Right? Remember, there's that um, tritone, there's going to be tritone in everything, which is that from here to is that, it's not a perfect, it's a, it's what makes a dominant chord or half diminished chord. Anyways, uh, so that's the scale we're using to create the thing. So we're, in that scale we're just stacking force. If you see the um, notation, you just see there's um, everything's within that. There's no sharps or flats. It's all, I mean, there's a sh there's flats within the, the key signature, but when, when the actual notation is written, it's all within that key. It's just every, uh, fourth note. It's kind of cool to see. And it, if you play it on piano, it would be very simple to see, but on guitar, it's, it's like a different kind of story. Three, four. This one's a little tough. Got it. That 
sounds like a double bar chord, it's kind of cool. Okay, this one we're going to move up to the next string. So it's going to be an E flat, right? It's going to be on the uh, fourth string. This is actually, if you did it on the, the same as. Right? Just because of that whole thing we're talking about. Um, by the way, on the sixth string. Sounds kind of crazy. Okay, uh, he had a different kind of guitar, maybe. Uh, oh yeah, so the fourth string this is all in E flat, so it's E flat A E G. Remember, there's that tritone sound. It sounds cool. Three, four. And we got E flat. Here's that tritone at the bottom. It's not really tritone. It's a sharp fourth, but in this. In this show you that remember the major scale for this one was this right just like the tonic right that's the same chord basically here's the minor seventh and the stack fourth so you can actually so if you're playing really fast you know you can stack the force and so that's a lot easier. Than me. Now, I haven't practiced that so much, but it just hits fast. It's a lot easier to just go. It's a less fingers, you know. It's a little more modern. So if you're trying to go for a more old school sound, you know, you hit, you probably shouldn't stack force too much. But okay, so that's that. There's one more thing. It's the little chord melody. Um, it's just based on a C minor, different C minor chords that we went through and just going up the first string of like a, I guess a, um, like a Dorian or something. Three, and there's two versions, one where you play a chord each note, one where you skip notes. One, two, three, and this time I'm going to do real chord notes. This one obviously doesn't. And uh, for future reference, say you're coming down here. That's another, you can use the harmonic minor to create all those, a new type sort of a uh, scale. So, um, oops. So that's the E flat. something to check out you probably you know learn a lot from doing that too um thanks a lot if you have any questions let me know uh, contact me on youtube or my website uh remember there's a stuff on my website the written version that'll probably help if you're into that kind of thing and just please practice with the metronome and uh, just have patience with it it'll, it'll come around uh, and get in your ears and, and your fingers it's a good practice for your fingers um there's all sorts of stuff, you know, whatever you feel like doing, you know, just go for it. Uh, and that's about it. Um, take care. All right. Peace. Bye.